Welcome to Great Things Tampa Bay, the podcast about great eats, great places, and great people in the greater Tampa Bay area. I'm your host, Kyle Sasser, a Tampa Bay native and realtor. This is episode 13, Tapas Cafe. I'd like to thank you for giving us your time. I know there's lots of things vying for your attention, and I appreciate you choosing to spend your time listening to me and this podcast. I promise I will do everything I can to bring you something awesome. Also want to let you know that we now have Express Feeds. If you're only interested in our food reviews, just do a search for Great Bites Tampa Bay. If you want more of our interviews with interesting movers and shakers in the area, just look for the feed Great People Tampa Bay. And for things to do in the area, shops or other events, just do a search for Great Places Tampa Bay. These feeds are listed on our website, greatthingstb.com, under the heading Express Feeds up at the top there. Segment one, Tapas Spanish Cafe. If you've listened to the podcast, I'm sure there's probably some sections of Tampa Bay that feel like they're not getting any love. And I wanted to give one of my little hidey hole special spots (laughs) over in east of Tampa. Honestly, I used to live over there in Brandon. I lived there for a few years, seven years, something like that. And this was the place where we would go, you know, when we wanted something tasty for lunch, authentic, delicious and affordable. Uh, So the place is called Tapas Spanish Cafe. Please do yourself a favor. Skip the taco bus on Falkenberg and make the trip here. It's right up the road, kind of across from the jail a little bit. It is kind of a catty cornered around back behind a bunch of stuff. The easiest way to find it is you go on Falkenberg and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to spot the jail there between Broadway and north of Highway 60. So you'll take Falkenberg north from 60 in front of the jail. You'll take a right on Windhorst and then a right on Tech Boulevard. It's kind of in a little commerce park there. The place has been there for 17 years. They've been doing it right from day one. They have some completely amazing Cubans. The beans and rice are delicious. There's nothing tremendously fancy. It's not artisanal. Uh, you know, there's no new takes on anything. There's no fusion. This is just down home, uh, delicious Cuban staples, uh, great prices, pretty friendly service, down home friendly experience. It's a great place to grab lunch. They're not really open for dinner or anything like that. Uh, this is mainly, you know, they just serve the lunch crowd. So if you find yourself in Brandon there, definitely give them a look because uh, it's it's absolutely worth it. The other cool thing is with them being positioned kind of back in this little commerce park there, it's not tremendously busy. You know, it's not going to be like a first choice barbecue experience. You know, you're waiting out the door, uh, waiting on your collard greens and samplers and all that. You can go in and, uh, you know, it's busy, healthily so, but, you know, you're not going to have to wait a tremendously long time for a table or, or anything like that. You can also order in for takeout or catering, which is also delicious. So that's uh, Tapa's Spanish Cafe, and that's 1202 Tech Boulevard, suite number 100 in Tampa. Segment two, feed me see more. So here's a little uh, fun fact about rice. I'm sure you have seen pictures of rice patties and and all that good stuff. And I can imagine you picturing it in your head right now. You're thinking uh, something with, you know, some raised beds cordoning off either terraced or or, uh, squared fields. And the fields are flooded and, you know, just little stalks of grain coming up. So the interesting part about the rice is that they don't need to be flooded to survive there. They can actually do just as well with traditional irrigation techniques. But the reason that the fields get flooded is because the rice can survive the flooding, but all the weeds cannot. So it helps with cultivation, keeps, you know, all the weeds are drowned out and helps to increase the crops. So if you ever find yourself in a situation (laughs) where maybe you're at a uh, trivia game or, you know, maybe the world ends and, uh, you know, you have a couple grains of rice. Uh, so that is the tip <laughs> for rice cultivation. The rice don't need it to survive. It just helps increase the yields. Outro. So I want to thank you for sharing Great Thanks Tampa Bay with your friends and family. You can share us by going to our website, greatthingstb.com. There you'll find uh, share buttons on nearly every page. You can share us on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. 
If you're looking for your own great place in Tampa Bay, I'm also a licensed realtor specializing in deep knowledge of Hillsborough and Pinellas County. So if you want to talk real estate, you can give me a call at 727-300-2111 or you can send me an email at kyle at sassergroup.com. That's K-Y-L-E-S-A-S-S-E-R-G-R-O-U-P.com. And uh, I'd be more than happy to help you find your next home here in Tampa Bay. I also need your feedback. I need you to tell me where we should be going and what we should be eating and who we should be talking to. So please go to our website, greatthingstb.com. You can hit either the contact us link at the top or the get social links also at the top. If you want to be a cool guy or cool girl, (laughs) you can call our voicemail number, which is a 727-440-4455 and leave us a message. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for listening and uh, I'll see you next time. And oh, by the way, um, if you don't want to miss the next episode, please subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. That'll guarantee that you get the next episode delivered straight to your mobile device of choice. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you next time. 